well it's just clouded over i've had to put a jacket on now and uh, that the uh it's definitely feeling much colder down here now this is if you're not familiar with it this is the match fishing stretch so this is basically the stretch of the river which is further downstream from where we're actually competing now this is where they're having what they refer to as the match fishing uh, competition so it basically means float fishing so this is a section where it's really quite different and I'll show it you in detail in a minute it's really different quite different from where we're fishing further upstream and this is where they will uh, where they're fishing the competition where they can pole fish uh, I don't know if there's going to be any bleak fishing I don't know if they do that on here uh, but some of them do fish with wagglers and sliders and that sort of thing so this is float fishing basically but it's a completely different stretch really down here it's much narrower uh, there are lots more features and overhanging features along that far bank and um, there is a little bit more flow usually as well which can obviously affect the fishing and generally whilst there might be one or two harder areas down here the fishing and the weights generally are are better or, or there's a, a better chance of a big weight in this um, side of the competition but let me show you the pegs in uh, in detail so that's looking downstream and as you can see obviously they've all got parking behind the pegs here which is great and then they've got gaps within the uh, railings here let me show you these gaps here and they're obviously coordinated right to where the actual steps are as well that go down and that's obviously where the anglers get all the kit down but as you can see with the setups it's all pole fishing down here well it's mainly pole fishing as you can see plenty of top kits some of them have got wagglers up and, and sliders and things I've never fished this side of the competition before because it's always exactly the same week that we actually fish the feeder one so you know if there was ever an occasion when it was on a different week then uh, I may be tempted to come and have a go but as you can see it's much narrower down here they go right the way down there and then round the corner to the right and if I just show you that far bank just have a look at those overhangs some of them come off that far bank a good two three meters even so as you can see that far bank looks very inviting for for holding fish so this is the match fishing stretch and this is actually for like i say it's further downstream below the weir from where we are and this just behind here is the fort Delaney fishing school hello <laughs> and this is where all the competitors meet on the on the thursday at two o'clock and this is kind of a bit of an opening kind of a, a meal for the actual official event and for lots of the competitors this might be the only time that you see um, the competitors um, for both competitions because if you're not drawn in the same section or the same rotation this might be the only time that you actually see them through the week and obviously it's just a nice uh, hour or so where you can just have a social and the organizers actually put on some some paella for everybody which is obviously free there are drinks as well so it's just a nice kind of opening to the event and um, that's where we all are now. We're just having something to eat. I've just had some paella. Everybody's having a bit of a chat and everything, obviously catching up on how the different sections are fishing. Um, and then obviously, you know, this is two o'clock. We'll be here until around about three o'clock. And then that's when anglers can go back off to the pegs. The tattle is actually being watched. The organizers have organized stewards that watch the gear. So it means that the, you know, the competitors don't have to pack all their gear away and everything, which is a nice touch. So that when they've had something to eat they can go back and then they can either obviously continue fishing if they wish or they can just you know get the gear ready for tomorrow which is the first day of competition so it looks like just about everybody's here so all the different groups have been allocated table numbers as you can see the weather's nice for this sort of outdoor eating everybody's having a good chat and um most anglers are here you haven't got to come here it's not compulsory there are still some anglers who who have decided to continue fishing and um the paella, I've got to admit, I might sound a little bit biased, but it's, it's probably the best paella I've had for a long time. It always is. It's fantastic. They usually do about three of these large, large pans, as you can see. Look at the size of those. And everyone's just about, I think there's one or two coming up for uh, their second helpings, I think. But as you can see, there's plenty to go around. And they've even got a choice of, um, they can have a Coke or there's Mr. Ringer. And... You can have a choice of can of coke, there's water there, or you can obviously have a beer. There's all the England contingent. Hi, Jamie. Hello, Yay. hello, hello. Highlight of the day for some of us so far, I've got to admit, the fishing has been a real test. All the drinks 
are on ice. So as you can see, it's just a really nice way to open the event. And there's the Irish, the Irish contingent, except Richard. <laughs> um, it's just a really nice social side to it. So what we're going to do is, when we've eaten here, I'm going to head up back to uh, back to our pegs, and I'll uh, I'll give you a rundown on how it's fished today. We're in a completely different section today. We're actually in section. Uh, well, I'm actually in section F. F2 is the official match number that I'm fishing today, and the fishing's been very very different from yesterday. If you want to have a catch up on what happened yesterday, how the fishing went and about how we got over here, then those videos are right here on the Catch Fishing channel, underneath this one. Well, there was one yesterday and one the day before, so you can have a catch up. So, I'm just gonna go and finish my drink, get back in the car, drive back up to the up to the section, and I'll have a catch up with you and just let you know, show you the peg and everything, uh, and just give you a feel for what that section is actually like on this final day of practice. A fish, finally, a fish. <laughs> There's exactly 90 minutes left. The first sign of a fish all the way through this section. Peg two. Right the way up for about another eight pegs past here. Hopefully he's gonna land it. Yes! Well done mate! Thank you. Must have been the paella what did it. That's the first one we've seen. Save him for tomorrow. Well, whilst the paella was absolutely fantastic, unfortunately the fishing hasn't been fantastic. We've just come to the end of the session now. It's, um, I've actually given it while five o'clock. The fishing down here in this section, which I'll show you in a moment, um, it was flat calm when we got here, but the winds gradually got stronger. Uh, and so we just had to change one or two things, particularly on that far bank line, which as I'm um, quite aware that you probably guessed that we would be fishing across there today, as that is one of the banking methods for a bite. Um, but it's, it, it's been incredibly difficult, you know. So let me just swing the camera around and, and just show you the section. That's my peg, this is F2. Okay, so section F, peg two. The next one there, which is Gav again, who was, I was next to yesterday, he is actually on F1. Everyone's, oh no, yeah, most people have booked, packed up. There have been people pretty much right the way up to the end, right at the end of that section. Uh, down there, there's been one or two of the Irish lads down there. Brenton Sweeney's been down there, second off the end. So, let me just summarise it for you. Like I said, I'm not going to focus, focus too much on, on negativity, but um, you can probably see how many English lads are down there. Down there, we've got uh, Joe Jaggers down there, then Graham Morris. Uh, we've got Matt Snowden, Mark Eaves, uh, Phil Ringer and then Gav right here. And basically, the only people that have caught uh, in white down there is Joe. Joe's been on the first peg before that split where there's a gap. Um, he's had two fish. I think they're the only two bites that he's had uh, down there on that first peg before there's that gap that go, goes around the corner. And Simon Fry has been the other angler around that corner. And I think he's caught a, a couple of fish, but you know, I haven't spoke to him yet. Coming back this way, Graham's not had a bite. Uh, Matt, has, Matt's actually had two bites, he's done really well actually to be fair to get two bites, unfortunately one of the fish has done him, uh, but he has managed to hook and, and, and land, uh, land a fish so that's brilliant, but everybody else coming back here, everybody else right the way through to myself, haven't had a bite, haven't had a single indication, alright, but Cyprian's done brilliant, he's had a, a spell of about 10 minutes where he's actually hooked and landed two fish off two different lines, and then that's it, he hasn't had any more indications. And that's pretty much been it until you've got right the way down there. Uh, and I think it's just the last two pegs may have had one or two fish a piece, and that is it. So if you saw the vlog from yesterday when we were up in uh, the, the end of A section and B section, you will have seen how hard it was. But as you now know, it's been even harder down here. This hasn't been a, a great section to be fair. There have been one or two fish caught, but it has been quite hard. Far bank wise, down here, you know, we, it's, it, it's different from where we were yesterday. So I'll just show you this, because obviously that far bank is quite an important area to target, you know, and even when it's fishing well, you know, that tends to be the main line where you're going to catch any sort of carp and carasio. But as you can see, you've got lots of stick up, well, they're not really stick ups, they're really tall, high reeds and, and trees. I'm not sure the name of those plants, but as you can see, a lot of them that are waving about in this wind now, they're quite high off the water. 
and that can be really difficult if you want to target that far bank i mean to go really tight in some of the spots have got well the rocks all the way down but some of the spots as you can see there you can actually get in close um, but obviously when that wind starts blowing it those big branches start blowing about you almost have to feel like you've got to time your cast just right in that wind and then you know you can see the rocks exposed there so there are odd gaps like that where you can get close in really close in if that's how you want to fish and then as we go down the section you'll see that there is the off you know the odd break in those trees you can see as we look from that angle look at those overhangs some of them are coming out three and four meters so it can be very very difficult to target that far bank but like i said there are odd breaks like there where you can get really tight in all right so but with so few fish you know we can hardly say that that has been the place to be because there's just been so few fish caught here so definitely not the day that we all wanted but obviously we're here to practice you know and i've got to be absolutely honest you know when I said people have blanked and all that sort of thing. What you have got to remember is that a lot of these anglers, myself included for half of today, we've, we're trying things out. You know, we're not necessarily fishing how we've fished here all the time. We're trying different lines. We're trying feeding heavy. You might be feeding more maggots, feeding ground bait, feeding worms, just to see what the reaction is. Putting a really small hook on and a single hook maggot or whatever, just to see if there's a small fish there, to see if there's a way of catching a fish. And, you know, obviously, <laughs> I've highlighted that a lot of those things haven't worked today. So whilst we've tried a lot of things out, myself included, I've really tried to get a bite as well. You know, I've spent at least two hours really doing everything I possibly can to try and catch a fish. And, um, and it's just not happened, it's just not worked. So I don't want to dwell too much on that because obviously today's, uh, sorry, tomorrow's a completely different day. And what's going to be happening is when we get back to the hotel tonight, seven o'clock tonight is where they actually draw our rotations for sections so tonight we will have an idea of which sector which section we're going to be going off to tomorrow and then tomorrow morning is when the, that's the actual peg draw so then that's when we'll know obviously the peg uh, it's a really early draw really considering the match times i think it's eight o'clock draw i don't think it's half past eight i'm not quite sure but it's either eight or half past but we're not fishing um, until 12 till five so 12 till five are the match times and uh, obviously, you know, the time of day can have an impact. So there's gonna be plenty of time to get set up and everything tomorrow. So the next step here really is I've got to get my gear packed away. It's just gone five o'clock. Um, kit wise, I know a lot of people ask, I've been using the same rods. If you want to see the rods and everything, just check out the previous vlogs um, over the last couple of days. I had to step up to a, a 40 gram horizon style new horizon style feeder that's been brilliant in this wind when there was no wind or when there wasn't any wind 30 gram was fine to get over there uh, the line over there is if you want to fish it where it's nice and clean is is pretty much 40 meters without going too close uh, but when this wind got up i've had to go up to a 40 gram that's with sticky mag and ground bait that i've just been messing about with so that's the only real change from from yesterday all the other sort of rods reels everything's the same so it's just the conditions and the extra little bit of width that you've got down on this section that's meant we've had to fish with a, a heavier feeder. That is it really, everything's the same as the previous two days. So I'm not gonna go over all that. So what I'm gonna do is now get packed away, get back to the hotel, it's about 15 minutes run bike and then I'm, I'm gonna show you the hotel tonight. I'm gonna show you uh, around, around the bar area and, and, and the restaurant and stuff, just so that you can see, you know, we've just got a bit more of an in-depth look at, um, at this type of an event. Well, you know and uh, how the social side of it you know uh, means so much to a lot of these people you know certainly when it's fishing like this they're not all here for the fishing they're here for a, for a holiday a few days away and if they can catch a few fish and that's an extra bonus so dad's up there in the car I don't, he's nice and warm in there i'm going to get packed away and what i'll do is i'll uh, check in with you up at the hotel where i'll just show you um what's uh, going to be happening later on tonight I'm back at the hotel where it's not quite as windy here. Uh, this really is a lovely hotel. I'm just going to quickly show you the reception and the bar area and all that sort of stuff. Lots of the anglers are still work, working their way back from the actual bank side as we speak. But I got a bit of a quick getaway with Dad. He's upstairs in the hotel room now, just having a shower, getting changed. We will be back down here shortly. So here's your sneaky peek. Tonight is when they are going to be drawing for sectors for sections it's the first time that they've done this before and this is 
the room where that will be taking place. They're just getting all the equipment right so that they can display the drawer there. Uh, the boards are up there, as you can see, and obviously by all the seats here, all the competitors are obviously free to come here and, and witness and watch the, the draw. However, I think the results will be posted online anyway. That's going to take place at 7 o'clock, which is only about 50 minutes away. So this is where... Yeah, sure. Everything on here is it's super, super professional, really well organised. If I just stand on here, that is the display there for the random draw for sections. So tonight we're going to be coming away knowing what sections um, or what sectors we're off to tomorrow, what rotation basically. And then the draw for the actual individual pegs will be done tomorrow morning. Superb. I hope there are some good pegs for me. <laughs> so obviously everyone can come down here at seven o'clock and that's when they're going to know what rotation they're in. So if we just work our way back out, like I said, there are a few anglers working their way back. Mr. Snowden, one of the heroes today. You went landed one, mate, didn't you? Managed to get one in the end. He hooked one, he's been the third peg in from our section today. Um, we can mention it, now you've landed one, we can mention it. You have hooked and lost one, haven't you? I have, yeah. That was the first one as well. It was, hooked. yeah, devastated. Yeah, but you had one, just one more bite? Just one more, yeah. And what was it? Uh, caught about a kilo and a half. Right, okay. Bit of relief. Just a bit, yeah. Imagine, it range, yeah. If, it, if there's as much pressure as that in practice, imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow and, and Saturday and Sunday, but no, well done, mate, well done. Just just peaking at the right time. Man, it, you mate. caught two yesterday. I did snare two yesterday, yeah. Flawless, there's not many people that have caught both days, I know that. Time for tomorrow. Though. Definitely, mate, definitely. So, yeah, I mean, this is, obviously, that's the, there's the lift and everything. It's a really nice hotel. And um, this is the main reception. So the main entrance is there. Usually they've got all the banners up there for the Iberian Masters and everything, but they've been moved into the room where we've just been, just so, um, obviously for filming and all that sort of stuff. So, and then this is the bar. There's a nice lounge area there. Dad has been comfortable in there the last couple of nights. It's really um, just a bit of a chill out area. And there's the bar behind me, where, as you can imagine, if I was filming in here at 10 o'clock at night, then uh, it, there would be quite, you know, a bit of an atmosphere. There's the bar, obviously and all the seating around here. There's Mr. Pickering there, Tom Pickering. I want to tell the English lads there. So, um, so yeah, I mean, this is, this is like, obviously the restaurant area, which is downstairs, Mr. Speed. Mr. Speed's here. Um, so yeah, the restaurant area is downstairs and everything, and obviously we will we'll, we'll be down there tonight, um, having something to eat at eight o'clock. So the schedule, seven o'clock and 45, 50 minutes, drawing in there for the sections sections and then it's downstairs for a meal and then we'll finish off up here for a couple of beers before we go to bed nice and early it will be an early start tomorrow tomorrow is the first day of competition if you're not aware however the draw is quite early as i mentioned earlier so uh, the match times aren't until 12 12 until 5 so just want to say thank you to everybody for all the great messages um as regards filming this week as hello <laughs> As regards filming this for um, a feature length film, at this stage, I have no idea what the quality of that is gonna be like because the fishing at the moment is so, so difficult. Um, I, I just don't know what's gonna happen, but I will do my very best to put something together for you. I'm hoping it's gonna be easy, and that means fish. If there aren't any fish, it's gonna be more difficult. So, but thank you anyway for all the uh, great messages. What I will do, regardless of how good or bad it is, whether, I'm going to be able to put together some sort of a film for you for next week. I don't know at this stage, but what I will be doing is uploading uploads right here at the end of each day. So, so tomorrow, which is Friday, Saturday and Sunday, there will be uploads on here for you on this channel, on the Catch Fishing channel. So you will know whatever um, the outcome, you'll know what's happened and stuff as regards results and what's been caught. All right, so I'll do my very best to film it for you. But like I say, the focus is now even more so to catch a fish each day. You know, there are people speculating already that if you can catch a fish on each of the three days, you're gonna be very hard to beat. That's how difficult it is. Um, but I'll do my very best to get some content for you. But even if I can't film any of the fishing or anything like that, I will definitely 100% upload a video right here at this time of night for you, just to let you know how each day's gone. So apologies for the lack of 
fishing action. Unfortunately, there isn't any to film, so that's why I can't share it with you. So I'm going to head back upstairs now, go and get a shower, make sure Dad's all right. Have a look at the section rotation draw, um, and then go and have a meal at eight o'clock and just switch off for a little bit. All my gear's done, I've got plenty of hook lens, all my rods are set up. And um, thanks again for all the great messages. Please hit subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. It's hugely appreciated, and all the thumbs up on the videos. And I'll check in with you tomorrow. So enjoy your evening, and hopefully I'm going to be reporting some uh, some great catches tomorrow.